back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having an awesome day wherever you are and staying happy in the world that we're living in. I'm doing a paint with me video today and it was really really fun to do and I'm definitely going to be doing more so you can expect that from this channel um, and I guess I'm just going to be rambling on top. And I did watch a TikTok the other night that was talking about the Australian accent and how it made people want to rip their ears out. So if you find yourself getting aggravated by my voice, feel free to mute it and just watch the painting process if you want. And speaking of the painting process, <laughs> I am not in any way the best artist out there at all, especially with this painting. To be honest, it didn't come out amazing, but that's all right. I was definitely in a very spontaneous mood, so I was kind of whacking paint, paint wherever and not really thinking about it too much, which I guess to me that's fun and art isn't about being perfect and you don't have to be amazing at everything you do. I think as a perfectionist, I find that really hard, but for some reason art doesn't fall into that perfectionist category for me, I guess. I really feel like I can have fun with it and not stress about it too much, which is awesome but yes so here i am just painting a girl smoking in a bathroom just because it's a vibe honestly no other reason there's no meaning behind this which art is about creating and having an outlet and expressing yourself and you don't have to have meaning and i find i do a lot of school art and with that i have to big assignments where I'm always having to write about every little meaning there is in the artwork so I guess I kind of get a little bit sick of that <laughs> so when in my own time I often just create work that doesn't have any meaning like this one it was just a like a reference photo that I found on Pinterest I'll put it here and I just chucked her in a bathroom like a shower because I thought that would be an interesting background and I guess fun to paint I wasn't at all trying to replicate the girl in the image as well. Or, I mean, I guess a little bit, but I didn't scale it when I was drawing. I kind of just drew it. And honestly, people have said that it looks a little bit like me, which I don't know if I see, but <laughs> I think I might have subconsciously done a few of my features in it just because I've done a lot of self-portraits in the past and maybe that just happened without me thinking. Anyways, I'm already getting super off track, but I just wanted to say don't expect a perfect painting from this. It's definitely not perfect, but I had a lot of fun painting it. And even though I'm wearing AirPods in this footage, I'm not actually listening to anything. So it was a real nice, really nice time to just sit and reflect. And I set up my easel outside on my deck and sat in the sun, enjoyed the afternoon, which was really lovely. In this video, I guess I also want to use it as an opportunity to introduce myself a little bit. Um, I have some people that have subscribed to me that don't know me other than through my YouTube. So um, just a way to sort of explain and introduce who I am and what I'm about and where I see my life going and what this channel is going to be in the future because I have a lot of ideas and I'm really excited about it. I'm currently in grade 12 in Australia and I am so excited to graduate. I think I have like less than 100 days until I graduate, which is kind of crazy, uh, but also kind of scary because it means that I've got a lot of exams to prepare for and they're slowly coming up, but that's all right. I guess next year is a little bit daunting to me because I've always wanted to have a gap year and travel or live outside of Australia and just like experience new cultures. To be honest, it's like a little bubble here. You don't get to see too much, especially where I live. So at the moment, I'm looking at au pairing agencies that will take me to Paris next year. <laughs> We'll see. I don't know. I hope it happens. I'm looking at maybe moving to France at around June next year. Um, so we'll see if that happens. If it does, then I will take this YouTube every step of the way and show you how I'm doing it and all the emotions that come with moving overseas and what life will be looking like for me. I, I don't know why I've always had an obsession with France. I don't know if it's because my name is French, but yeah, I've always had an obsession. It was the first place I went outside of Australia. I went in 2018 and it was life-changing. It was so beautiful and I can't wait to be back there. I've just been looking forward to being back ever since I left. So yeah, hopefully next year I get to move to France and be an au pair in Paris. We'll see. 
I also eventually want to go to uni and study art curation. I think I want to be like a gallery director or an art stealer. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet, but I know it will be something in the arts world. A lot of my friends, well practically all of them, are moving to Brisbane next year, which is about an hour and a half to two hours away from my house and where I live. Which is going to be weird because I'm still going to be living at home for the first few months until I hopefully move to France, or if not, probably Melbourne. But it's weird because I've grown up with so many friends living so close to me and I know that so much is going to change in the next few months and I've been waiting for this change for so long but now that it's like really close it's kind of scary. I'm thinking of packing up a suitcase next year at one point and just couch hopping at my friends places so spending a few weeks at one person's house and then the next at another's because I think that would be really fun and I've always kind of romanticized living out of a suitcase. I don't know how glorious and fun it will actually be but I don't know it sounds pretty exciting to me. Anyways getting back to the painting. At this point I'm just working on the background because I got extremely bored with working on the actual body. I think I was in a really yeah as I said just a really spontaneous mood. This is me trying to see what I actually think about the painting. I like to do a trick where I look away and then I look back really quick and see if I can see what it looks like, like with first impression sort of thing. I was very much just winging it with the background, yeah, like had no idea really where I was going with it, but it was fun. I actually really enjoyed doing the background and really just splattering paint wherever. I like the colours I used in this painting. I usually gravitate towards uh, darker, more surreal sort of paintings that uh, have more muted tones in it. Um, I don't know why I usually tend to gravitate towards more creepier paintings. <laughs> I just do, so this is a bit different for me and it was nice using those vibrant colours and uh, a little bit of a, a happier mood. <laughs> Changing the subject a little bit, I really hope everyone is staying super productive and motivated during these times. I think it's really important to have an outlet, outlet whether that is you know creating like it is for me, so making videos or um, painting, writing poetry, anything like that, or whether it's baking a cake or um, watching your favorite TV show. I think it's also really important though to uh, take as much time away from technology as possible. When we're locked down, it is really easy to spend a lot of time on technology or even just in general. Um, I find myself just getting honestly more and more obsessed with it by the day and it's kind of scary because I see how many hours are wasted and so try to have something or a time of the day where you can put technology away and do something that you really enjoy because I promise you will feel super refreshed and a lot more productive after it. As this painting comes to an end, I'm just putting the finishing touches on it, um, I just wanted to say thank you if you've managed to stay this far into the video. It's been, I guess, a good opportunity for me to introduce myself and what I kind of want this channel to look like, I guess, which, yeah, I'm really excited about it. So if you're not subscribed already, that would mean the world to me. Obviously, I'm making this channel not because I want to gain subscribers, honestly because I really enjoy making videos and I've got so many ideas of more to make, so, and obviously with graduation coming up as well, I have a lot of exciting video ideas to make, uh, so yeah, stick around if you're interested. Here is the final painting and a little montage of it in all its glory. Um, as I said in the beginning, it is far from perfect, but art isn't about perfection. It's about having fun and enjoying yourself. So yeah, it was a really nice afternoon of creating and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. A bit different to what I've posted before, but yeah, thank you for coming along. Really appreciate it as always.